Now, I'm going to pull this up right here. Okay, we got it good. Now, did you know that there is a world chess champion? I did not. Did you know there was a five-time world chess champion? I did not. I don't know how one wins the world chess championship, but on you know Google Trends, this, this came up, and I was kind of fascinated by it. Let me get into the article here a little bit. It says, five-time world chess champion Magnus Carlsen says he will not defend his title. Well, I, I mean, I don't know what to think of that. I, I really don't. It says, Magnus Carlsen, who's been ranked the number one chess player in the world since 2011. Now, look, I, I'm just looking at the guy. He's got, like, sponsorship on his sleeve. Which, I mean, that's big time. I mean, he's been the number one chess player in the world since 2011. It's 2022. Good Lord. It says he announced once that he will not defend his world championship title. In quotes, the conclusion is very simple that I'm not motivated to play another match. The five-time world champion said on his podcast, The Magnus Effect, the world chess champion has a podcast. Does he, I, I'm, I'm guessing he talks about chess. I'll have to look that up. It says the championship matches are held every two years, and the next one is scheduled for 2023. I simply feel that I don't have a lot to gain, Carl said. I don't particularly like it, and although I'm sure a match would be interesting for historical reasons and all of that, I don't have any inclinations to play, and I will simply not play the match. So let's step back here. This is what I'm hearing when I, when I, when I see this, this article. This man is so great at chess that it's not even fun. Like he's like, I'll just I'll just beat everyone. It's like, well, okay. Okay. It says, I mean, can you imagine? Can you imagine? Do you know like like this would be akin to me saying, you know. I could I could list a couple million dollar houses this month, but I'm not going to because I'm just so good at it that it's not really worth my time. I just can't believe this. It says it says the uh, Carlson, a 31 year old Norwegian native, last won is the championship in 2021. So last year, Ian Nepomana Chechi, we're going with that, won the candidates tournament, which concluded July 5th in Madrid. That event is held every two years to see who will play against the defending champion for the world title the world ti now didn't they have like a computer at some point that could play chess better than a, i don't know kasparov how many times did he win i don't know i don't know it says he was expected to have a 2023 rematch with nepomachichi who he defeated in the 2021 world championship so this this carlson fellow he's like you know i, I played that guy before and i just i just wiped the floor with him like as, as well as you can in chess, I'm, you know what, I'm out. I'm just whatever. I don't know now. I don't know if he's angling for more money. Like, is this a boxing match? Like, is he, you know, the, the big fight? It said, Carlson said he had a meeting with the International Chess Federation, FIDE, which is kind of interesting because how do you get International Chess Federation out of FIDE? President Arkade Dvorkovich and FIDE Director General Emil Sutovsky to tell him he could not defend his title. Well, he can. He just chooses not to. <laughs> the pair offered suggestions, but ultimately the conclusion stands, one that I'm pretty camp comfortable with, one that I thought a lot about for a long time now, I would say more than a year, probably a year and a half almost. So here we have this, this fellow. Great, great chess player, like world champion five times. And he has just come out and said, it's not even that fun anymore. Like, I don't know if he's angling for like a better, a better chess person. But anyway, it says F-I-D-E again, like, like let's, let's just stop for a moment. Do, do you believe that people that play chess at this level are somehow brilliant? Cause I do. I don't even understand chess. I've, I've looked at the board. I mean, it's cool. Well, it's just not something that I want to do. I kind of feel the same way as this Carlson fellow, except I've never played and I don't, I don't care to. It says F I 
DE, which doesn't make any sense. The International Chess Federation doesn't doesn't make any sense. It's ICF would be the anyway. It says FID said Carlson has not officially pulled out of the championship match. Like, what is he scared? Magnus Carlson deserves nothing but respect from FIDE, which, if you're confused, is the International Chess Federation, and from the whole chess community, the whole chess community, in whatever decision he makes regarding his career. Only a handful of people in history can understand and assess the tremendous toll that it takes playing five matches for the title. I mean, like some of you, some of you are out there going to work in 102 degree temperatures. Okay. Like you're out there slaving over, like maybe you're an HVAC technician. Okay. And you've got like a baby and a family and like they're all hot in this house. And it's 102 degrees and you've got to get out there and you've got to fix this air conditioner. Okay. I mean, is that a tremendous toll? I don't know. I don't know. But I mean, it seems pretty important. I, like, no offense, but like they've got a computer that can figure this out now. So I, I agree that it says only a handful of history and people can understand and assess the tremendous toll. I, I mean, it seems like he's got a pretty cush job. I mean, he's got a podcast. He's, he's so good at chess that he's decided that he doesn't need to play anymore. Says Carlson said he only had ever had goals to win one world title, like a one and done, a diaper dandy. <laughs> he was not motivated during the 2016 World Championship match, his third world title, and mostly did so because of others' expectations. The fourth and fifth titles didn't mean anything to him. Carlson said. Now, can you imagine, like, mate, like I don't know, the guy's got a Mastercard logo on his sports coat i mean can you make bank playing world championship chess and then in the world of world championship chess now will the guy that's gonna play because this guy isn't and like he'll win his first championship then you know not by the way if there's like women chess players that are better i don't i wasn't trying to be sexist i was just Based on this, I was I was reading that this is a man and there's another man playing. But uh, you know, I mean, can you imagine? Like he'll he'll now be a world champion chess player, and then then there'll always be that that nagging at the back of your mind that like you could have been special, but you never really got to face uh, Carlson and beat him. I don't know. It says. It was nothing, he said. I was satisfied with the job I'd done. I was happy not to have lost the match, but that was it. So his fear of losing was greater than his enjoyment of winning. This is this is a very, um, very lofty um, uh, thing. Let's just take it in another sport. So um, in football, college football, because I hate the NFL. You've got, you've got. These 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 teams are built with you know great players, but they could be freshmen, and they could be you know seniors. I mean, there's just a wide range of of skill levels and ages and everything else. Their goal is to win. Uh, let's remember way back in the day, uh, Herm Edwards. You play to win the game, right? But this man was not playing to win the game. He was playing not to lose. Huh. Huh. I'm, I'm trying to figure out in, in, in like in my business if I'm afraid to lose. But having lost for many years, I'm not really afraid anymore. I mean, it, it's like it's something I'm used to. Anyway, uh, Carlson said he's still grateful the opportunities the world matches have brought him and he's not retiring from chess, which is another thing. I don't exactly know, you know. Like. How I mean, is there is there an age where like you're not allowed to like you know are in your in your mid forties are you allowed to play chess or like are you at your best? You know, a lot of times in football, I think like the quarterback position, uh, a lot of times the guys will be really good. Like Tom Brady, I mean, no no one really can argue that he's a great player now. 
he probably knows so much more than he did when he was beating the Rams back when he was in his 20s. But, you know, it seems like the mind goes, uh, you know, that you, you get the mind, the body goes before the mind in all of these sports. Um, you know, you get that experience and you're just so much better, but your body just breaks down. Does that happen in chess? I don't know. Is his little arm when he tries to move the little things, the rook and the pawn? I got you there, didn't I? He says he will still play this year's Grand Chess t- Tour matches in Croatia and St. Louis, Missouri, where I'm currently residing. So this is, I might just, I mean, I don't know. It might be invitation only. Tickets might be too expensive. Uh, there might be a concert down at like what we used to call Riverport that I might want to go to instead. But anyway, he's coming here. He says, I don't rule out a return to the world championship in the future, but I wouldn't particularly count on it either. There it is. Five-time world chess champion Magnus Carlsen saying he will not defend his title. Wow. Wow. I mean, I mean, like you'd think he's smart enough to know what he's doing. I don't think it's just luck. 